Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to acquire and break the lease in Azure Blob. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and this is my storage account and uh, this is my container. Here it is. Go inside the container. And if you would see the file here, you click on it. And if you would see this option on the top menu, it says acquired the lease. Click on acquire lease. It says successfully acquired lease on the following blob. While the lease is active, you must include the lease ID with any request to write to the blob or to renew, change or release. So this is the lease ID. So you see the lease ID, uh, the option to acquire a lease is not available because we have already done it. If you would click on it and if you would go down, lease status is locked, lease status is leased. It is, it is already leased and this is the URL of this blog. If you will copy paste it and you do it, paste it here intent not so if you will go here okay because i have not made it publicly so if you would go under access policy the container public access was set to none that is why Here you will see the URL of this con test container. You can access it. If not accessible, it is accessed to the code. So if you would go here again, click on here again, you can break the lease by clicking on this option, break the lease. Uh, breaking the lease will allow the selected blocks to be deleted or modified. Yes. The lease is break and you will again get an option. So acquiring a lease is, uh, with the lease is active, you must include the lease ID with any request to write to the blob. So if you want to copy it using the code, access it, then you can enable the lease on this because you are leasing and making it to not delete it because the lease is acquired. Break the lease, it says to be deleted or modified. So that is how you acquire and break the lease in the Azure storage blob. I hope you liked the video. I see you guys in the next video. Till then, have a good day. Bye-bye.